know that the grass withers and the flower fades, but your word is eternal. So the Lord has got to help you and open your eyes. My people perish for lack of knowledge. For lack of knowledge. So what he shows you, you now know. With a deeper depth and a greater height. So your prayer is, Lord, show me. Show me, not just the scriptures. Wondrous things. <laughs> wondrous things. From who? From the scriptures. Wondrous things from the scriptures. So the scriptures can produce wonders. Scripture understood and applied produces wonders. So your job is to make sure you gain understanding of the scriptures. And when it is like that, you, do, you don't even, you really need to come for the laying on of hands, except maybe when you are coming to be blessed because of your offering. It is lack of scriptures that will make you a prayer project. When you are a prayer, what is a prayer project? Someone on whom anyone can lay hands on them. Chero Garden Boyopa next door can even lay hands on you. Anyone they can lay hands on you amongst those people. They can just automatically lay hands on you because you are now a prayer project. And yet, what you are looking for is in the scriptures. It is in the scriptures. I have seen people, you know, maybe after church or whatever, just generally people, and that's fine. The, 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 the intensity with which you are and the focus they have, I wish they had it in church. And if you go there and you listen, yeah, most of the time as Nabasa. <laughs> so you major on the minor and minor on the major. When your attention should be at its highest in the church, in the house of God, because the man of God is opening the, the scrolls to reveal the mysteries of the scriptures, the wonders from the scriptures. So you have to be open when you're in church. Be open to receive the scriptures. There is, when you talk of the word of God, there is the milk of the word. Now, you can study these things. You can look for the scriptures yourself. This is a mature church. You can look for scriptures yourself. The Bible talks about the milk of the word. This is elementary level of word. This way, right? Then we move on to the meat of the word. Hello? All right? Then... From there, there's a deeper level of the word, which is the honey of the word. The honey of the word. Honey is used in a lot of medicines. Am I right? Am I right? There is a dimension of the scriptures, which is milk. There's a dimension which is meat. But there is a dimension which is honey. The honey element of the word is a deeper level of the word. That one now produces healing, produces deliverance, produces results. If you are coughing, just coughing, without taking a cough mixture, you can take honey and it will soothe your throat. You stop coughing immediately. If you look at a lot of medicines that you buy, if you read that paper inside, I know you don't read, you're just looking for dosage, dosage. <laughs> How many can I take? Four. <laughs> I'm mean, going to take, I'll take, uh, it says take two, but if, so if I take four, I'll be healed in half the time. <laughs> Am I the only one who, pray, let's leave that one alone. <laughs> but if you study Chipeba Cheche, you know, without my contents, and it, and most proper medicines have got honey in them. Are we, are we in agreement? Uh, maybe we're not in agreement. Are we in agreement? All right, praise God. Let me show you something. Go to Proverbs 24. If you want the word to work for you, you have to go deeper in the scriptures. You are here to study the scriptures. Study the scriptures. 
If you don't study the scriptures, you move from church to church, from place to place. And you end up on the doorstep of a wizard. In the name of Nakubatsirwa. You see, Kubatsirwa could write, but Kubatsirika, could it none? Do not in the Batsirika and Kwanzaa was Batsir and Dega. Da Kumba. I can, t I mean, imagine if for all the medication you have to go to the hospital. It's frustrating. This is why the doctor gives you a prescription. So you can self-medicate. Are you understanding? So when you're in church, I'm giving you things you can take home. And you can do what? Self-medicate. Men of God, not even in the equation. Self-medicate. And these are tried and tested self-medications from the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now look at this. In Proverbs chapter number... Proverbs 24. Is somebody benefiting something this morning? Say, I will go deeper and deeper in the scriptures. I will value the scriptures. Lord, each time I open the scriptures, open my mind, let me understand great things, wondrous things from your word. Hallelujah. Now, how many know that Jesus is the word? Huh? All right. Now, Jesus is the word, and they call him wonderful Jesus. That's Isaiah. Wonderful counselor. In fact, that's what it says. Say wonderful. What does wonderful mean? Full of? Full of? Full of wonders. So Jesus is full of wonders. This way, and he's called wonderful counselor. The same Jesus, we find him in John chapter 1, verse 1 to 14. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. The word was God. All things were made by him. Without him was nothing made that was made. In him was the light of men. That light shone in darkness. Darkness comprehended it not. That same word became flesh. That is Jesus. This word. I paraphrase John chapter 1, verse 1 to 14 for you. This word. All right? So, if Jesus, the wonderful Jesus, is also the word... That also confirms that the wonders of the word are found in the scriptures. Did you understand that? Say, so Jesus is the word. Wonderful Jesus is the word. In the word, there are signs, there are miracles, there are wonders. Let me prove it to you. The word is so powerful that while Jesus preached, while he preached, miracles happened. While he preached what? Miracles happened. What, but what was he preaching? Whose word? The word of God. Somebody say the word of God. So as the word of God is preached, with, built into the word are signs and wonders. I don't want you to value the anointing oil more than the word. Because because you don't remember Mkadote. They don't even know they don't even know what I'm talking about. My Ruiz Demand. Oh, my Phineas, yes, thank you. Oh, my Ruizi was his wife, but my Phineas, thank you. My Phineas, it was white. I specifically remember it was white. And that is what Africa wants. To look at your neighbor and say, you like things. If I take off this jacket and I give it to Brian and I say, from henceforth, <laughs> no, Brian, I'm not taking it off. <laughs> it's an example. If I take off this jacket and say from henceforth, money will be in your house. Next week, if I come back again, someone will want a jacket. Because people believe the power is in the what? <laughs> but that's not where the power is. The power is in... That's why the Bible says, this is why the devil has blinded the minds 
of the children of God. Watch this. Against the glorious gospel. Have you read that scripture? Huh? So the devil has blinded the minds of the children of God against what actually brings the wonders, which is the word. We know that the grass withers and the flower fades, but your word is eternal.